Hi friends, we have seen the GATE results for GATE CSC 2019 which have been announced on March 15th from the evening hours, I think about from 5 p.m. onwards or so. So what we have what we thought of after talking to some of our students, so lots of our students whom we have mentored, a lot of our students whom we have mentored in the last in the last few months for the GATE CSC 2019 exam have reached out to us, some of them with brilliant ranks and some of them not so happy with our ranks. So we thought as 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 a service to our students, we thought we will be we will counsel every student we can. And so we are announcing this GATE counseling for GATE CSC 2019 students. And this will be free of cost just to make it clear to all of you. This is something that we want to do to help our students make the right decisions because we ourselves have been in these shoes and we didn't have anybody to mentor and guide, right? So we thought we'll, we'll, we'll counsel every student that we can, as many students as time permits and help them make the right choices uh, as, as the gate results have been announced. So first and foremost, congratulations to all the students who got a good rank. Now, what is a good rank? That is very subjective. So, in a nutshell, every student who would get an admission into the institutes and programs that they aspire to get into, I would call them as good ranks. So, first of all, good job to all of you. You've put in a lot of hard work. You've put in many hundreds of hours of effort and congratulations for you on that. But the big question now on your mind is, which institute should you join? Should you join in Institute of Science or should you join IIT Bombay or should you join IIT Kanpur, Kharagpur or NIT Trichy or NIT Varangal or Suratkal? There, there are many, many good institutes in India for master's degree in computer science. And every institute has multiple programs, right? Every institute has multiple programs. Now, that's a big question. Which institute, which program should you choose? What are the areas of computer science? What are the areas of computer science that you're passionate about? Somebody may be interested in algorithms and data structures. Others may be interested in machine learning and data science. Uh, many more could be interested in operating systems, databases, you name it. Right? So this is a big question that, that is there in everyone's mind. Even when I was a student, even when I got All India Rank 2, I, I knew I would get any institute that I would want. But still, I didn't know which institute to pick. And I, I had to talk to a few people, get some mentorship. So we, our team, our team at Applied Gate Course, our, our team at Applied Gate Course has, has, has team members from almost all the major institutes in India. We have people from Minister of Science, from all the major IITs, from NITs, and we have seen, we have seen many other friends of ours who have studied in these institutes. So we can, even if some of us haven't studied in these institutes, uh, we have friends who have studied in these institutes and we've talked to some of them and we can give you some perspective, if not the complete picture. We will try to give you the most authentic and the most personal suggestion, the way we would give if our, if a friend of ours or a family member of ours asks us the question, right? The next important question on your mind might be how to utilize and prepare for in the next three months for the, for the journey ahead, for the two years ahead of you, how do you prepare and how do you utilize the time that you have in the next three months? That's a very good question. The third equally important, actually, I would say very important question is, for many institutes and for in many programs, you have to apply to those programs. Some programs also have a written test or, or and an interview. So some, some of them have both. Some of them just have an interview. So depending on the program, you need to apply to some of these relevant programs that you're interested in. So we'll also be making a bunch of videos and post it on this channel, right? To, to, to reach more people, to be useful to more use people. But we also, so we want to address all of these questions. I'll tell you how to exactly reach out to us and how we intend to help you all. Number one. Number two is in case, in case, again, let's be honest here. I think except for the top 500 or so, 500 or 600 students, many of them. So if there are hundreds of students who are happy with the results, there are thousands of students who have, who are unhappy with them. Okay. It is our moral obligation to help these students also. So that they know the road ahead. These people, these people, for those who did not make it will be in far more confusion than those who have made it. So there are multiple options here, to be honest with you. Number one is, please remember that gate is not the end of things. I, I have some team members at Applied Gate course who have not made it in the first round and who have been successful in their life and careers now. I've seen brilliant people like that. My classmates at Union Institute of Science who did not get 
who would not crack gate the first time, but have gone on to do phenomenal things over the last 10 years, right? So first option for you is there are some very good institutes like IIIT Hyderabad, Indian Statistical Institute at Kolkata, also called as ISA Kolkata, and there is Bits Pilani. These are very good institutes. What these institutes do is they conduct their own entrance exam. They conduct their own entrance exam mostly in the next one or two months. Some of these institutes have already announced the dates and they have already opened applications for these entrance exams. So most like IIIT Hyderabad, ISA, Kolkata and Bitspilani, the very good institutes with some phenomenal faculty and some very interesting research happening in some areas of computer science. So our strong recommendation is if you have prepared for GET, if you have prepared for GET and the syllabus mostly is, is, is like, like the GATE syllabus, right? So if you have not gotten a good rank, we strongly recommend that you apply to IIIT Hyderabad, Indian Statistical Institute, Kolkata and Bitspilani, where the master's programs are also very good. Okay. So please apply, please go to the websites of these three institutes. We'll try and provide some links below this video also. And please apply for these examinations and continue your preparation. Most of, just go through the syllabus also. Most of the syllabus will overlap with your gate computer science syllabus because these three institutes are as good as any other top institutes in India, right? Actually, some of these institutes are top institutes of India. It's just that they don't, they don't take uh, the gate result into consideration for MTech admissions. They conduct their own exams and their own interviews. That's option one. Option two, if you already have a job offer, if you already have a job offer, again, it could be any company. Uh, you could you could actually join the job, work there for one or two years, whatever you are comfortable. If you like the job that you're working on, just continue there. Why not? At the end of the day, if you have intellectual satisfaction and if you're happy at your job, why bother about it? But on the other hand, if you're still passionate about doing your master's at India's top institutes and want to want to work on other areas, right? Then obviously you can continue your work for a year or two and you could prepare for gate again. You could prepare for gate again. You could prepare for GATE again. I have many classmates of mine at Indian Institute of Science who actually worked for one or two years, some of them even three to four years, and then prepared for GATE and cracked GATE. So it is not impossible. I've seen tens of people who have done this. Both my friends, my colleagues, and my, my peers at Indian Institute of Science, my seniors, my juniors, I've seen a ton of people like this. Okay, so this is not impossible. Go If you already have a job offer, please go join. Work there for a year or two. Continue your preparation for GET. Okay. There is option three, which is, this is an option that many people don't consider. There are actually some very good central universities. Like, uh, for example, uh, in Hyderabad, we have University of Hyderabad. Also sometimes referred, uh, earlier it was referred to as Hyderabad Central University. Today it's referred to as University of Hyderabad. In Delhi, there is uh, Delhi Technology University. These two are ve These two are also pretty good. These two are pretty good central universities with some terrific faculty and some good ma master's programs, right? So our suggestion is you could join these institutes, continue your learning. These institutes provide uh, some great learning resources, some great peers, some great faculty. So please go join these institutes instead of dropping in here. So a lot of students tell us that we want to drop in here. Our recommendation is if you can get some of these good universities, join these universities, continue your learning. Because you've just missed gate, probably because of a few marks here and there, continue your preparation if you want to. If you're like, okay, I'm not happy with these institutes, I really want to try again. You can join there and try again. Now, when you try again next year, let's say for gate 2020, in gate 2020, suppose you get a good rank, right? You can always move to another institute that you, that you choose to, right? In case, that's, that's one option. In case you are like, I don't care about it, I'm very happy at these two institutes, and, or if you don't get a good rank, right? You're not dropping in here effectively because you'll graduate from these institutes in two years, right? You'll be able to graduate in the, uh, from these institutes in two years. So, in, so if you drop a year, there is a risk that you may not get a good rank again in gate 2020. Then you'll be far more upset. And the pressure that you'll have while you're, while you're preparing for gate 2020 will be enormous because you feel that you've dropped a year and you've put in almost one year of additional effort here. So to reduce the pressure and to also prepare you better as a trade-off between risk and reward, we recommend that you join uh, some of these good central universities, but continue preparing for GATE if you choose to, right? And again, if you, if you want, you could take GATE 2020. And if you get a good rank, change the university. If you are like, 
I'm happy with these two universities. I would like to continue and finish off my master's here. That is certainly an option. You're not dropping a year and losing a year. That's all I'm suggesting, right? So these are these are only some of the suggestions. Please, this is this is just one viewpoint. We strongly recommend that you consider multiple viewpoints because this is a major career decision. This is a major career decision that all of you are making. We try to give the best decision, best suggestion, the way you we would give to a friend or a family member, right? But the final decision is up to you. You are the best judge of what is right for you. Right? Equally importantly, we understand that you have lots of questions and concerns that are not answerable through a bunch of YouTube videos. Of course, we will continue to post more YouTube videos over the next few days addressing multiple questions. There are a bunch of questions that our students have called us and asked us from yesterday evening. So I'm recording this on March 16th, early in the morning. So we have already seen a flood of questions and flood of emails and flood of phone calls that we have received, right? So we thought we'll post as many videos as possible on YouTube over the next few days so that many of these common questions are answered. Additionally, to help every student possible, we will give you a form. You could, this is a Google form. This is the link to the form, right? This is the link to the form, right? This is the link. It's very simple. bit.ly front slash gate CSE 2019. Right, very simple form. If you just go to this form, please fill this form. We'll ask some very basic details. We'll ask you also the major questions that you have. The major questions that you have. The reason we're asking for your question is we'll pick the most appropriate person in our team to, to, to answer your questions and to actually call you. So what the way we are thinking of answering as many questions as possible is please fill in this form and we'll revert back to you over phone. So we'll try and make a phone call to as many students as possible to discuss your question that you have put in over phone and we'll try to find the best person in our team to address your questions. Okay. Number one. Number two is we may not be able to answer every student. Please understand that we have limited manpower on our front. So we will answer questions on a first in first come first serve basis or a first in first out basis. Right. This is your standard Q, right? Q data structure in computer science. So we will, we will prioritize students who send in the questions first. And we'll try and answer as many as possible. Okay. As many as humanly possible. So please go to this, go to this link. Very simple link to remember bit.ly front slash gate CSC 2019. And you could also go to our website where some of this information is present gate.appliedcourse.com and please fill in the form so that we can try and answer as many students questions as possible. And when we try to, uh, if, if we have your question clearly written, we will come prepared with answers instead of thinking of answers on the fly, number one. And please share this link with your friends also. Please share this link with your friends who require this counseling and mentorship and help from us, number one. Number two is we, we will be only doing this for computer science students. We will not be able to do it for mechanical, electrical, electronics and other branches. Because currently at Applied Gate Course, we don't have experts in those areas to be able to genuinely give good suggestions. So we limit this, this gate counseling exercise only for computer science students because we have a, we have a reasonably large team that can help you for computer science students. And many of our team members have actually studied at IAC, some major IITs, NITs, triple ITs, etc. So we can give you first hand experience and, uh, and hope, hope we try and answer as many questions as possible. We'll do this for a, for a, for a few days. And this is, this is an effort from our side to help as many students as possible because we understand you. We have been in your, we have been there, right? We have been there in the same situation that some of you are, right? So let's, let's try to, uh, let's, let's, uh, please also send this, send this message across to some of your other friends who could benefit from it and we'll try and do our best to help as many students as possible.